In this video I'm gonna show you how to fix any Apex Legends crash so make sure that you watch this video till the end. Before we start I just want to say subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps and let's start. So what you want to do is click on the search bar and type graphic settings and open it as you can see it says graphic settings system settings just click on it and let it open click on browse go to your local disk C or where you have Apex Legends installed at and double click on program files x86 open the origin games folder open the Apex folder and now scroll to the bottom and click on r5 apex.exe and click on add now what you want to do is click on options and select the high performance as the graphics preference so just click on it and click on save okay and now what you want to do is okay and you can now close the graphic settings the second step is to open origin and once you open it what you want to do is go to my game library right click on apex legends click on game properties and make sure that the enable origin in game for apex legends is unchecked once you uncheck it go to the advanced launch options tab and copy the command from the description so it's the refresh 60 game time max variable fps 60 and paste it in the command line arguments box once you paste it you can click on save you can now close the origin launcher the third step is to open this pc open local disk c or the drive where we have apex legends installed at double click on the program files x86 folder open the origin games folder open the apex folder scroll to the bottom and right click on r5 apex.exe and open the properties once you open them go to the compatibility tab and make sure that the run this program in compatibility mode for box is checked and you have windows 8 selected Check the disable full screen optimizations box and check the run this program as an administrator box. Once you're done you can click on OK. And the next step is to open the easy anti-cheat folder. Double click on easy anti-cheat setup.exe. Click on yes. And click on repair service. This should finish in a couple of seconds and it says installed successfully. And what you want to do now is click on finish. You can now close the easy anti cheat folder and the fifth step is to update your graphics drivers you can do that by clicking on the links in the description so i'm gonna put the nvidia amd and intel link in the description and for nvidia drivers what you want to do is download the geforce experience which it says that automatically keeps your drivers up to date and your games super optimized you can do that by clicking on download here and install it and it's a pretty cool app if you have an AMD graphics card, what you want to do is go to the AMD site, scroll to the bottom and download the auto detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows app. So just click on download now. And if you have an Intel graphics card, then go to the Intel site, click on get started where it says automatically update your drivers. And click on download now so you'll download the Intel driver and support assistant. Once you download and install the drivers, your game should be working. And the last step is to open the origin launcher again, right click on Apex Legends and click on repair. This should take a couple of minutes and this will download any missing or corrupted files from Apex Legends. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped and also comment down below if it didn't and I'm gonna try and help you. Thanks for watching again and bye.